nothing gives me greater pleasure, art lovers, than bringing you new works by a bona fide legend in the art world. And that's what I'm able to do today with Georg Baslitz, one of the holy trinity of great post-war German masters, along with Gerhard Richter and Anselm Kiefer. He's showing new works at White Cube Gallery in Bermondsey, where I'm going to take you now. Baslitz um, was born in 1938. And in 1969, he had a revelation when he started painting people upside down. Um, Baslitz, it's fair to say, has both lots and lots of fans and also many detractors. His detractors say that he's a one-trick pony who started painting people and landscapes upside down and kind of repeated that motif over the next decades and continues to do so today. But his supporters say that once he discovered this, this way of encouraging us to look at art in new ways and break down formal conventions of art. His art has developed and changed. It got denser, for example, in the 1980s. He started producing those wooden sculptures. Um, and, and even up until 2015, he produced a series of remarkable nude self-portraits upside down, the Avignon paintings. So I'm really, really excited to see what he's been up to in his studio over the last... Um, over the last year or two, all of these works have been produced in 2023, I'm led to believe. So come and join me as we head inside the wonderful White Cube in Bermondsey and explore some new works by Goyle Baslitz. I'm not so if you're a fan of Baslitz, maybe choose your own music, kick back and enjoy the works.
Well, I hope, art lovers, you enjoyed that exploration there of Georg Baslitz's A Confession of My Sins. And what I would absolutely love is if you're a fan of Baslitz to um, post in the comments um, wh where you think these these brand new works produced at the age of 86 stand within um, the artist's wider artistic outlook. Because I'm not somebody who's a massive fan of Baslitz. I think the last time I engaged with him as a solo artist was in 2016 in London. But, um, I also did see a couple of his works at Tate Modern recently. But um, yeah, where do you think this stands? I did find without that much knowledge of him, there was something hugely heroic about this show. At the age of 86, having this incredibly productive year in the studio, all of these works were produced last year. And um, and reflecting on, on Baslitz's practice over the last six and a half decades, because that's what this show is all about. Interestingly, um, he reflects in the catalogue on how he's changed as an artist. He said, I exclusively deal with my own past always, but it was a different painter who did those early works. It was me, to be sure, but in a different spirit and with a different intention. And I think that reflection in his current spirit and current intention provided a lot of the energy of the show. He stretches all the way back to childhood. Bastet says, I've got my early childhood drawings of eagles, stags, deers and dogs and so on in folders. And every now and then I look at them and you could clearly see him returning to these themes. So there was something quite emotional about his early childhood drawings influence Influencing. Now, another thing I really loved about the show was that you could quite clearly see here his his artistic influences. People like Franz Marc, Pablo Picasso, Whistler, um, uh, de Kooning, and the French poet and playwright Antonin Artaud as well. And the other thing I thought was that, that, that sort of really got a sense was of um, Bastet's desire to constantly disrupt. He was born before the Second World War and, and escaped communist East Germany. But he, in, once settled in the West, he was determined to puncture that bubble of post-war um, West German complacency, which came about with the economic miracle. You know, he said, I was born into a destroyed order, a destroyed landscape, a destroyed people and a destroyed society. And he was he was one of uh, you know this generation of who I think we have to recognise great German artists who who were piecing together again Germany's artistic tradition just as companies were piecing together Germany's economic dynamism and that was that was that was really exciting and there's one last sort of thing that I'm very aware of I've been covering a lot on the vlog of artists who have have been around for a very long time Frank Auerbach with the new works that he produced. In lockdown, Gerhard Richter um, uh, and and obviously Gail Bastlitz and Sam Kiefer as well. And I both really love the fact that there's this generation of artists who are in their 70s and 80s who are still pushing themselves and pushing boundaries. Bastlitz, for example, using nylon stockings as a collage technique for the first time in his 80s. But I also worry to a certain extent if this generation is, is crowding out in the London art scene, newer, fresher talent. Let me know what you think about that in the comments as well. But anyway, it was great to be in, in Bastlitz's world. It was a beautifully presented show the white cube is perfect for these huge paintings if you are a fan this show is on until the 16th of june at white cube bermondsey just a short walk from london bridge and if you enjoyed this do check out my vlogs on new work by anselm kiefer and um gerhard richter and don't forget um, to subscribe to the Art of Vlog and hit that notification bell. Um, Albert Erlin's coming up next, another German artist still producing work which you might want to see. Thank you very much for watching.